See, oh, those are real readings, and that's just because of the cooler water are very adjacent to where those readings are being taken. But the rest of us are generally in the low 60s right now and just bathing in the sunshine. Look at that visible satellite imagery. Yum, there's really almost nothing on the map at all. So let's kind of broaden the picture. And if you look back to the west, there's really almost nothing on the map. You can see this is look at this chunk of clear sky here. And the only reason we have these clouds here is that there's a, an upper level disturbance to the south that's moving to the northeast. So even these clouds really are not going to brush us. They're going to stay to our south. So we're in really good shape here for the afternoon. And the reason is high pressure. But as I mentioned, it's the wind tonight that's going to be important. It's not going to be much wind. We're talking about maybe five miles an hour, if that. But what's going to happen is as this low approaches the Great Lakes. The wind tonight again turning a little more southeasterly. That's going to bring in moisture off of Lake Erie and that moisture is going to then give us a better chance for more widespread dense fog. I'm not saying everybody's going to get it tomorrow morning, but we're going to see some of us with dense fog tomorrow morning and it'll be stubborn. It's going to take a, a number of hours for that stuff to really uh, burn off and give us the sunshine we'll have tomorrow afternoon. But then Friday, I don't think we have as much of a fog threat. We'll have a mixture of sun and clouds on Friday. This is a brand new model. I just got into the computer. It's the first high resolution model that now takes us into Saturday and it continues with the theme of a faster movement of this cold front. So already by Saturday morning, here we are. We have showers already in the western side of the state. These are going to move eastward and we probably are going to see some showers at least scattered by at some point Saturday afternoon. By the way, very dynamic system there. Severe weather threat here in the plains on Thursday an even bigger one down to the south on Friday. All right, so today though, mid 60s for a high. It's going to be great tonight. 45 the overnight low with that fog developing and then upper 60s tomorrow. 71 Friday and Saturday. Then that cold front knocks us back into the 60s and that's still above average, guys. Oh, yes yeah. it is. Okay,